well i can't be the first to see the latest video hello everyone this is anuj sethi and welcome back to another video by ams group of institutes now today's video is the second part of our series that is valuation of goodwill so in the first part we have discussed two methods that is average profit method and weighted average profit method in today's class we will discuss about super profit method so all those people who are new please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever we upload the next video of this series so let's move to super profits now what are super profits super profits can be said to be all those profits which we are earning extra than the rest of our peers of that industry so let's take an example we are in the steel manufacturing business our enterprise our company earns 12% profits but the overall industry that is the overall steel industry earns a profit of 10% so you can see that we are earning 2% extra so this extra 2% becomes the super profits which our industry or our company is earning so what are super profits the formula will be the average profits of our company minus the normal profits of the overall industry so there you have the formula for super profits now in order to calculate the super profits you will have to firstly calculate the normal profits now what are normal profits normal profits will be the capital employed by the company into the nrr now nrr is the normal rate of return in our example it was 10% so in many questions you will be given the capital employed however in many questions you will have to calculate the capital employed so how will you calculate the capital employed it's simple capital employed can be calculated as the total of assets excluding goodwill mind you you will not include the amount of goodwill in the total assets so total assets excluding goodwill minus the all outside liabilities that is the borrowed funds this can also be said to be the net assets of the company so this is capital employed and as we have already read nrr is the normal rate of return which the company or which the overall industry earns in its business so let's take a sum to understand how will you value goodwill of a firm using the super profit method so let's take the question now we have to calculate goodwill by using four years purchase now four years purchase we have done this in the previous video that whatever will be the super profits we will multiply it by the number of years purchase in our case it is 4 by purchase of super profits the nrr is given to be 10% and the capital employed by the firm that is our firm is 50 lakh rupees now we are also given the table in which we have been given the overall profits of our company for the past 5 years now we use these profits to calculate the average profit of our company so let's start the sum first step will be to calculate the normal profits now how will we calculate the normal profits the formula was capital employed into the nrr so let's solve the sum now the capital employed was 50 lakh rupees and the nrr is 10% so we'll write that in the equation 50 lakh into 10% that is the nrr so the uh, normal profits will be 5 lakh rupees now let's move to the average profits that is average profits of our company the formula is total profits divided by the number of years so firstly we will have to calculate the total of all the profits given in the table so it is 4 lakhs plus 5 lakh that is 9 lakhs 9 lakhs plus 5 and a half lakh this is 14 and a half lakhs plus 7 lakhs so it will be 21.5 lakhs plus 8.5 lakhs so this is 30 lakh rupees so the total of the profits comes out to rupees 30 lakhs now 
to calculate the average, we will divide this total profits by the number of years. 30 lakhs divided by 5, that is the number of years. So we will get the average profits of 6 lakh rupees. So now we have calculated the normal profit and the average profit of our company. So how will you calculate the super profits? The average profit of our company minus the normal profits of the overall industry. So the answer will be the average profit that is 6 lakh rupees minus the normal profits of the overall industry that is 5 lakh rupees. So we can see over here that the super profits comes out to rupees 1 lakh. Now the sum is not over mind you. We have to calculate the goodwill. We have only calculated the super profits. So how will you calculate the goodwill? It's simple. The number of years purchase into the super profits. In our case, in our example, the number of year purchase was 4 and the super profits came out to rupees 1 lakh. So we can see over here that the goodwill of the firm will come out to rupees 4 lakhs. So guys this is how you will calculate the goodwill of a firm of a partnership firm using the super profits method. In our case, the answer was 4 lakh rupees. So, this is it for goodwill from super profits method. If you found this video to be useful, then please give it a thumbs up and share this link with your fellow students and peers. If you want us to make another video on any other topic, then please use the comment section below. Like, subscribe, comment and share to support this channel. So this is it from our side and as always, happy learning.